think that I will do the light game, you know, orchestra again, orchestra director again, you know. We can only do one time for everything. If we repeat, no funny, no industry, no industry, no interesting. And I find some interesting things just happen. Yeah, but I don't tell you. Okay, anyway, uh, Figure Talk episode 59, I think it's 59. Um, this time, not a new brand, but Star Age, you should know that. And uh, but the new figures, uh, new release item, but not very new, but uh, released for a while, maybe for, for release for one month. Um, this time is uh, the Underworld from Star Ace on six scale Victor. Okay, with the very strong music, background music, film music, and you could think that this guy or this figure is not a polite or friendly one. This is, I think it's a, I guess it's Dracula. But I'm not sure, but I didn't watch the movie. Anyway, uh, we start to talk about the figures. Yeah, I think uh, in my point of view, this one is probably one of the best Star Ace figures. Yeah, you guys should know that the, the sales quantity would not be so huge compared to 300 or other better license uh, of Star Ace. But I think, uh, you know, the accessories, the body, and the head scrub costume, you should judge by the video that it is, this is a really good one. You can see they made a, they made a specific body for these figures. It looks like a really, you know, a middle-aged man. I think uh, it is easier to, to make a better head scrub for a middle-aged man than a young age man. I mean, the young people. Yeah, and you can see the details of the bodies, you know, so skin and muscle texture. They had done a good job, and you know they don't just you know make a simple body, and this neck nice with a specific, you know, is really well done and upright to scale all the designs i think it's following the movie original movies the bell the bell buckle and the chain okay and also at the same time the costume looks really vector is a noble nobleman uh this time i think they did a good job for the costume you know for this specific pattern of the Pretty light jacket uh, or Tranco, they have done a good research and at the same time they use a new method. This is not a completely new, new method. Many brands is using this, but this is very good for you know tiny or, or complicated pattern on costume. Yeah, only the factory or only the manufacturer they have did it before they know what to do. But if you didn't do it before, it could be a matter of you know exercise. For your guys, you guys, designers and engineer, yeah. But anyway, if yeah, for experienced manufacturers, they know that what to do. They know what to do. Uh, the breather chancles look really well made, right to scale. The fitting is good, and the body is well designed, specific for this vector, for these figures, and. Uh, it's that well it look very you know like a hippies but anyway this is a medieval or, or sci-fi fictions so I I I don't have comment on the you know what era from this figures for these figures and he he got three weapons this is the daggers I think it's the smallest dagger And at the same time, he has another one. This one is more lethal daggers because all the bruts can go through this. I don't recall the, the terms of this part in a daggers. It's for the, you know, for easier to let the victim's blood go through it. Ooh. And this is the sword web speci with specific patterns on the handle or grip okay and uh, 
Okay, go to the last thing, two more extra hands and this special head scrub. I think he didn't die in the movie when look like that. Because he is a specific I think Underworld is regarding is about Dracula's or some vampires. Vampires. So we can see. Ooh, horrible, horrible, horrible. Ooh. I used to do that with, with my daughter. But the butt is going ups and downs and the head has been cut. It's by a very sharp sword. I think if you didn't buy these figures, you cannot have this moment to see very clear and detailed about this head scrub. I think they did a good job and you know, most company would, would, would you know, would, would sacrifice this offering, you know, they won't do that, just give it to you. But they have the budget and the expenses for this. This is uh, appreciated appreciate for Star Ace. Yeah, I think if I, for my, in my opinion, uh, this is a one of the best Star Ace figures I ever seen. Yeah, yeah, really, really, frankly, it's better than 300 one. Yeah, this one well made. But maybe the technique and the the skill is very well used and, and applied by the manufacturer, so they make it more, much much better than other Star Ace figures. But you know, they are not. This, this figures and this movie is not the most welcome one but I hope they really have a good sales and every collector do knows how to appreciate these figures not so sweet right you know not a handsome guy not Tom Cruise but all the technique spending on this figures is really high and well-made product okay uh, okay so this is uh, one of the best uh, Star Ace figures. This is all my comments in conclusion. Okay, congratulations, congratulations Star Ace. You, you did a lot of, you made a lot of effort and the uh, products in improving as far as this, especially this one. I hope you company, your company can do much, much better in the future. Thanks for watching Figure Talk episode 58. My name is Ryan o from Times TV. And please share and like our page if you like this. Thank you. See you. Bye bye.